So let's go through the process of actually creating a WordPress.com blog account. It's really simple, just takes a few steps. Let's get started here. When you go to WordPress.com, you'll see that the button in the top right here says sign up now. That's where you want to get started. They're going to ask you for some basic information, the first being your username. Now, your username also is going to be tied into your WordPress account. So let's say that my username was Sean Percival. My blog would also be seanpercival.wordpress.com. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do something here. We're just doing a test account, so let's just call this like Mahalo Testing. Let's make a password as well. You have to enter it twice. Uh, when you use your password, you're always going to want to try and have some combination of letters and numbers. Don't name it after your cat. Don't name it after your first name. You want to make sure that no one can access it uh, without your knowing and uh, hack in there and do some other blogging without you knowing about it. Um, the final piece here is entering your email address. So we've got that. Uh, of course, you want to check that you've read the terms of service. This button is checked that says, give me a blog. And notice here it's actually shown us what our blog is going to be called, mahalotesting.wordpress.com. We click Next, asking us for some more basic information. If we wanted to name, give the blog a different title, we could do that. Let's call this the Mahalo Test Blog. Allows you to select what, ang what language. And this language is essentially for the dashboard, which we'll look at later uh, what language that is. They're all been localized to different languages. Uh, and then privacy. Now, here's what this is talking about is, do you want your blog to be accessible by search engines? So you have to really think about that. Now, if you're in testing, you may want to think about not exposing it to search engines. If you want it to be very private, where it's more of a diary, you may also not want search engines picking that up and indexing it. Uh, so really, the choice is yours now. Of course, if you're trying to gather a large audience and you want more people to find it, you want to leave that checked, and you want to allow the search engines to actually find your blog, index it, and include it in their results. Uh, so let's take a look. I think we just have one more step here. Click on Sign Up. Congratulations. They're asking you to do a verification. So you just have to essentially check your email address, uh, click on a little verification link. And then they're also asking some more information here. First name and last name. And then a little bit about myself. I'm a big deal. You can obviously put whatever you want in there. This actually is just part of your WordPress pro uh, profile that they save for you. Once you've done that and verified the account, you have a blog and you're ready to go. If you want to learn a little bit more about blogging, please check out any of these videos above.